Hi, this is Roland, Barbecue Smoker Pros, Brasselton, Georgia. And today, we're about 10 days out from Christmas. And I was thinking about a Christmas present that I could give to all my barbecue pit masters out there. And I'm not much for writing cards, but I think what I can give, which is very valuable, is I can give knowledge and skills. Now, most barbecue smoker are trailers. We don't build ours on trailers. Ours are single axle pieces of equipment. You can see they're not built in a trailer. They're technically a food cart, but they all have lights, DOT lights. So I think the knowledge I wanna to give today one of the number one things we fix around here is people bring smokers to our shop that need their trailer lights fixed. Obviously you're taking your smokers off road, in the woods, backyards, camping, fishing areas, you know, obviously parking lots too, but it seems that people seem to get their trailer lights ripped apart or ripped off or they're not working. So let's talk about this. What you have to look at, one of the number one things is your ground. Make sure your white wire is grounded to metal. It's connected properly and you can see how we do it here. We crimp it. We take the insulation back so it's only bare wire inside here and then we bolt it to the frame. So number one is it has to be grounded. I did an example over here, hopefully this makes sense. It looks sort of crazy, but I think it's going to make sense when I explain it. Number one is your pickup truck or your car that you bring to pick up your smoker. Even if it has a trailer hitch installed, the mechanic might not have actually put the fuses in to run the trailer lights. Now, I don't want to get too deep into this, but your fuse box generally could be on the right-hand side over here in your engine compartment, or you're going to find it under your steering wheel area generally in this area here or possibly by the glove box there's the bear so look at your owner's manual and make sure that the trailer fuses are actually and we had a gentleman pick up yesterday from out of state um, and his light system in his car did not work they didn't put the fuses. Number two, you have what's called a four prong system, flat four prong, or you have a seven prong round. Now most trailer lights are what's called a flat four. We have adapters at the shop, which is a seven blade four flat where your flat four will connect into this and become round. So we have these at the shop or this is actually a really awesome one. This is a flat four to a seven round extension flexible. Now trailer hitches generally on most smokers you want them to be level when they're going down the road. So you're going to want the front part to be about eight inches or excuse me, 18 inches off the ground. Again, you'll have to measure your smoker. Most of ours are about 18 inches. So back to here in your pickup truck or your SUV or your car, you have to either drop the ball. This is a six six inch drop I think drop the ball so it's about 18 inches from the ground so you have one of those you have one with a 
less of a drop. So let's say your pickup truck's about here, or your car, this is a four inch drop. Or let's say you have a very low car. You would flip this upside down and flip that ball the other way because you want to raise it. So again, these are things you need to call and look at your car or pickup truck. Now let's go over lights. This is the number one thing, one, number one, one of the number one problems here. Hope this makes sense. Make believe there's a smoker there. This is your light setup. So your four prong is going to go into your vehicle or your adapter. So that's your four prong. Generally the white wire here is your ground. That's going to be connected to the front tongue, generally, of your smoker. That leaves you with a brown, a green, and a yellow. We're going to make believe this is the left-hand side of your smoker, and that's the right-hand side. So you can laugh at me, but just make believe. On the right side, you're going to run a brown and a green wire. The green wire is your right turn signal. The brown is your brake and headlights. That makes sense. You'll see as we go through this. So again, the green is your right turn signal. This is your light. On the back of it, they make it really easy. I don't know if it shows up on the video, but there's a place where you put the green wire. It's, it's on this side in those two slots there, and the brown wire in those two slots there. That's how easy it is. So if there's a problem if your wire is broken or it's ripped, that's how easy it is to put in for the right side. Now the left side is the same way. Hopefully this makes sense. Again, you have another brown wire, which is your brake and headlight wire. If I'm wrong, just put in the comments. I'm not an expert, but I just connect a lot of these. And the yellow is your turn signal. So again, this is your left. Generally, it will have the clear on the bottom. And back here, it has a place for the yellow wire on the left side brown wire. You're going to strip off probably about an inch. That will expose the wire and you're going to stick the yellow in there and the brown on that side. Now another problem is it's called the ground. A lot of people repaint the fenders on their trailers so when you're trying to, quote, ground this, this means this nut, this nut and bolt, must hit bare steel or metal on your fender to ground or make it work. A lot of times there's paint there. So scrape the paint in the little hole in the fender so this will ground. This is what the inside of the light system works. Yes, sometimes the bulb might be blown. You can see here, this is a good bulb. There's two wires, one, um, I don't know what you, what you call those things, inside there. But the two wires inside the bulb, they're connected, they're not burnt out. You see how it's connected from the left to the right and they're not burnt out. You might want to keep an extra bulb in, the, in your car or truck. That's actually here, is actually where your wires, your bare wires will come through and that makes connection. I hope that makes sense. So again, one of the things you want to check is your bulb. Make sure you didn't blow the bulb out. Number two, make sure the wires have not gotten pulled out from the back of your light. Number three, make sure the ground or these screw nuts hit metal. Please put comments in the in the video to help everybody and then again make sure none of the wires are ripped or torn loose so they have
then just re-splice them. That means you're just going to expose the wire, reconnect and put some tape on it. Uh, electrician's tape's the best. If you have to use duct tape, go ahead. That's really how simple the wiring is on a trailer. I mean, that's it right there. I know it looks crazy on the floor, but if you imagine the, your trailer right there, that's your trailer system, your wiring system. Now I'm going to show you quickly with ours. So again, here is the right side, which is the green and brown wire. And you're going to see what we do. I don't know if you see this one by one pipe there. We actually put our wiring in that pipe to run up to the front of the smoker. This way is less chance of it getting ripped out. So we spend extra time and effort. Over here is the green, excuse me, is the yellow and brown. So on the left turn signal, yellow and brown. And again, we run it in that pipe right there all the way to the front. A lot of people don't do that. That's extra money and time and labor on us, but we want to build the best smokers that we can. That wire, that pipe, generally will run inside this tube to the very front. And here again is your wires again. The green, the yellow, this actually has two browns, and the white again is your ground. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, you can always give us a call, a holler, a text, 770-866-2561. So that's my Christmas present to everybody, is how to fix, maintain, repair the wiring system on your trailer, on your barbecue smoker grill. So have a wonderful day. Give us a call, holler, and text, and barbecue on.